Mojo, you know your video on uh, YouTube has like 2.2 million views? Yep, I know, it's all me. So, I left you guys hanging in the last video and the first thing I want to do is apologize. So, two videos back, um, let me walk around this corner here. Um, if you guys remember, I did the video where I went out front and we had the smoke and all the animals was like being really alert and aware and they could tell something was up well i never did update you guys in the last video we did but of course the fire is uh it didn't come close everything's safe it didn't even get close to our property i never did even find out where it was for sure um, like i said the way these haulers and these hills run down through here smoke can travel a long way especially as windy as it is here and the sun is fixing to go down it's up bright right in my face so look over here and talk to mojo for just a minute i'm coming out to do the evening feeding kind of just check on everybody before uh it gets dark but mr mojo's waiting for his dinner mojo you know your video on uh youtube has like 2.2 .2 million views yep i know it's all me yeah it's got like 2.2 .2 million views is that not crazy he said, I don't like to brag, but it was all me. I saved that goat. Yep, you're a good boy. You're a good boy. You ready to eat? Hmm? You ready to eat? You want some eggs? The emus are pacing the fence, walking back and forth. You want to shake? Show everybody how you shake. Come on. I'm down on your level. He said, oh, Skeeter won't get out of the way. There you go. That's how a giant dog shakes hands. He's a good boy. Yep, he's a good, good man. He likes his scratches and his treats and everything. All right. So once again, I'm sorry for leaving you guys hanging. I know several of you was concerned and was wanting to know about that wildfire, but everything's good. Everything's okay here. Just uh, got a little cold on us, so we got the wood stove cranked up. That's always a good thing. I love uh, having a wood stove and uh, nothing better than, uh, I say free heat. You know, we got all these trees and stuff. It still takes labor. It takes money running your saws and stuff, harvesting the wood and all that type of stuff. But it is a renewable resource that we have plentiful abundance, I guess you can say, of. So, and you guys seen the last video, uh, Caleb and I put that radiator cap back on the truck. I haven't even moved it since then. Um, been busy working, just taking care of things, and just pretty much cruise control. Like I said, right now we don't have any big projects. Um, we got something big coming down to the lake property, hopefully. I don't want to announce it yet because it is not a done deal, so stay tuned to that. If you guys have not seen the videos of our um lake property or uh, abandoned rock cabin go back and check them out a lot of people uh really enjoy seeing a little bit of a change of scenery from the farm of course everybody likes watching chickens and goats and emus and a big white dog that looks like a polar bear but every once in a while we do things off the farm we do get away from here and uh enjoy life off the farm somewhat we do have a life and um, we need to get into doing more vlogs where we're not just on the farm all the time. You know, when we go do things, we try to take the camera, but it gets hard because somewhere you got to have a little bit of separation. You know, um, we're YouTubers. Um, I still have a full time job. Rachel was able to quit her job and, uh, you know, stay home, take care of the kids. And right now she's taking care of her mother um, that has cancer. But, you know, you got to have a little separation. I would love to just film pretty much 24 7 every time we go anywhere or do anything and not just have a farm vlog just have a family vlog type style but you got to have a little separation and a little privacy you can't just film all the time and if you got a camera in your hands 24 7 you're probably missing out on a lot of stuff and not enjoying everything to the fullest but we need to work on that and a lot of people ask me how come I haven't quit my full-time job yet I don't know just uh haven't really thought about it too much to be honest so uh that's that so anyways everybody is trying to eat so you think we ought to feed everybody skeeter he's like i don't know where to go i don't know what to do 
Skeeter is a sheriff. If you have, if you guys haven't noticed, Skeeter is the sheriff that goes around. He checks all the dogs out, all the big dogs. Make sure everybody's doing their job. Nobody's out of control. None of the animals need to get timeouts. Where's Mr. Leesky? I don't see Leesky. I think he's laying down back there. Is that him? Leesky! There he is. Oh, you say my name. I'm right here laying down. Who said that? And you got sweet Cora. Just sitting there. Alright, so uh, let me grab some food. And then uh, we'll go feed the old man first. He's mad. He turned his back to me. Look at this. He turned, his, he turned his back to me. He said, okay, you're going to make me wait on the food. I'm just not going to pay attention to you. And before I forget, for those of you that are new to the channel or did maybe don't watch all our videos, you skip through some. Sometimes it's not an interesting topic or thumbnail, whatever makes you guys click on the videos. Some people don't click on them unless it's something they want to watch. Well, that's, I get it. Um, we have a new website. And if you guys would all do us a favor, we've had so many people go to it already. Um, we're trying to get that website up and going still. we got a newsletter coming out. Um, we're going to do a weekly newsletter. So if you will go to our website, uh, Hidden Heights Farms, with an S, dot com. The link is down in the description below. If you guys will go there, kind of just scroll through, check out some of our blog posts. We got a blog on there. Some of the things that we do on here, like how to's, how to take care of goats, how to do certain things with dogs, whatever. It's going to be published on there where you guys can go back, you can read about it, or you can go back and watch the video. It's going to have uh, links to the products, stuff like that. But if you guys will go to our website, and sign up for the newsletter, we would greatly appreciate it. So do not forget that if you're interested. So, okay, enough jabbering. Let's get some food and go check on these animals. These chickens are waiting for me to spill the food again. Luckily I haven't in a while. We are gonna have to make a trip to the feed store because this bin is getting pretty, pretty close to low. I haven't checked it in a little while, but I'm gonna need to check it. All right, Mo, I'm coming, buddy. You hear Mo? You hear the you hear Millie the goose said, oh he's coming with the food, he's coming with the food. I can hear her. She's a loud honker. I think that's what you call geese, right? Alright, you can quit being mad at me now. You ready? Come on. I got you an egg. I won't crack it, I'll let you crack it, I promise. You promise, Dad? You promise you let me crack the egg? I promise, Mo. Come on. Don't be upset. Come on. Got your egg. Oh, okay. 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 Sounds good. Come on. That's near the rotten egg. Just teasing. Come on. Crack, crack. Here, crack, crack. You can have some food out here. Dog, all hey, Mr. Yoshi. What you know, man? Hey. Yoshi. Yoshi. You're immune. I don't know about your immune. You know that? Yeah, I know, Dad. I know. There he is. Where's your name? Your name's a pop to us. Everybody likes to kick the microphone. Oh, this is get in the gate. <laughs> These goats are getting worse. They're running me over. Hold on, let me feed them and get them out of the way. We'll come back and feed you. <laughs> this shadow is very rude. Look at this. Fat. You guys. Oh. You guys are going to end up hurting somebody. It's wild. Packed like a bunch of heathens. Can feed you. We're going to... Come on. Come on, buddy. Here, Millie. Come 
Okay, take the bucket. Spread it all out for everybody. We're just gonna make a trail. How far can we go? All right, there's your trail. That should give everybody plenty of time to eat. There's the quack quack sneaking under the gate, as always. They're the fastest eaters on the farm. I thought the goats were, but the ducks got them beat. So. All right, I told you, you can uh, crack your own egg. So, there you go, your egg's in there. He likes cracking his own egg. He just gotta get to it. Kind of like the prizes that's in the cereal boxes. You can't just open the cereal box and dig through the box. You gotta eat some cereal before you can get to the prize sometimes. Your egg's underneath all your food. All right, let's talk about these goats. Okay, this could be a little bit of a problem. I don't know if I got it on camera or not, but whenever I was coming out here and just fixing to dump the food, I had it in one hand, I had the camera in the other. You guys know these goats act like they're starving and they will run me over. I weigh a little over 200 pounds. I'm right at six foot. I have pretty stable footing. Um, I wear a size 12 boot or a shoe, but one of these little 100 pound goats will knock, will do its best to knock me over. So I have to be ready all the time. Well, poor Yoshi. I don't know if you guys seen Yoshi or Emu. He was standing right there because he's just a nice emu. He's a friendly emu. He don't attack me. He don't jump on me or try to knock me down like the goats do when I come in with the bucket. He pretty much waits patiently. But the goats are heathens. The goats are heathens. They're, they don't have manners. They will run anybody over just to get that first bite of food. I don't understand it. But that's just what goats do, so uh, you gotta be careful. We gotta figure something out. We gotta come up with a feeder sometime. We gotta redo the fence. We gotta do something. Um, I need to figure out a way to find someone in our area that has those fence line feeders. If I can do some of that, if I can get some of that and uh, get a couple of those to put over here. Um, one day, Dad and I is going to, we're gonna try to redo some of this fencing. And let me show you guys something. So. Ever since we got Mojo, he would never stay in the fence. You know, he brought him home, put him in here, and he'd just jump the fence, come back and forth. You know, he stayed with the goats for a little while, but when he wants out, he gets out. Um, but then if the goats are crying, he'll come right back, but he just will not stay in here all the time. He wants to be in both places because he's bonded to humans and he's bonded to goats. So the way he comes and goes is right here. And since we've had him, I think we've had him for over three years now, he has broke this metal right here. Like, it's just bare wire, and he actually keeps it polished because he comes back and forth. You can see his hair on there. So, here's the deal. Mojo's getting older. He's, he's probably six years old now. So, eventually, he isn't going to be able to jump the fence like he does back and forth. So, me and Dad has to come up with a, uh, a plan to try to build something right here where mojo can go through um, we might try a t maybe some type of doggy door or something like that but it's got to be something that is only activated when he gets close and i do know they have doggy doors that can be activated with like a collar like a key like a fob thing on the collar by proximity something like that only thing is i don't know if they make them big enough for a dog as big as mojo he's a big dog so you can see this is a 36 inch fence right here and he's his back is every bit of it. This right here is probably over 36 inches. So we're gonna have to find something that he will still go back and forth with because he is this herd and all the, all the flock, all the birds over here, he is their main guardian. And this is his family. Even though you guys see him sleeping in the yard and sleeping on the porch a lot, he is back and forth all day and all night. Most generally when he's over here, when he's sleeping, it's nighttime. He'll, he'll come out here and sleep in the middle of the goats or just sleep wherever in the grass, just kind of guarding them. So anyways, that's one of the projects we'll be coming, we'll have coming down the line in 2023. Um, this fence will probably get redone. 
This one will get redone. This is field fence. This is field fence. Um, it's worthless for goats because they get their heads stuck. Now it does keep them in, but they get their heads stuck all the time. So what we'll do is we'll we'll redo this with four by four sheep and goat. That's 48 inches tall. I don't know if we'll put barbed wire on the top or not. Uh, none of these goats try to jump out or anything, but I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But um, the main thing is trying to build something that Mr. Mojo can still get back and forth with. And what we'll probably do is use two by sixes or something and make something that goes across there. And uh, you better get your food, they're eating it. Go get your food. Go get your food. Hey, come on. Uh oh. Hey, come on. Get your food. Good. I know you're not done eating. Get your food. Come on. Look. Hey, excuse me. Hey, excuse me, giant birds. That's Mojo's. Come on, I can't protect your food all the time. And then you got a goose hissing at Skeeter. Eat your food, Mo. Oh, that goose just went after Skeeter. There you go. Hey, get out of here. You can't leave your food here. I'll get out of here so you can eat in peace. You guys hear me talking. They hear me talking and they want to come over here and say, Oh, y'all heard you say my name. I'm going to be in the video, but... Anyways, that's uh, that's why we have not done the fence yet because I have not come up, I have not come up with the solution for building something right here. Here's what I'm thinking, and you guys can comment on this. You might be able to help me since we have the heathen goats. Um, I'm thinking about trying to find some kind of inline uh, fence feeders where we can feed the goats from the outside. We don't have to get in to feed them. That'll keep us from getting ran over. Maybe keep some of the birds and stuff from getting run over or getting hurt. So what I'm thinking is putting another post right here, running the fence, the wire fence to this post, you know, doing a real fence where you have your bracing and all that to where it stays tight. But right here, we can always use two by sixes. Um, it can be, you can add, you can remove without, um, putting any slack in the other fence because this will be kind of separate. We can play around with maybe a doggy door, maybe the ones where they can put a collar on their, or a, some kind of a signal button thing on their uh, collar. And when he gets close, it opens and closes. I don't know. So that's something you guys can be thinking about. If you guys uh, have any experience with that, feel free to uh, leave a comment down below because that's gonna be coming up soon. We gotta do something really quick. And uh, earlier, I dumped the ashes from the wood stove here, and you can see the chickens has already been digging in it and rolling in it. The ashes from the wood stove are excellent for the cats. The cats like rolling in it for some reason, and the chickens, but what it does is it covers them and keeps all the uh, external parasites like fleas and mice and stuff from getting on them. And the mites that bother chickens, that's why the chickens love rolling in dust and uh, the ash from the uh, wood stove. All right, so let me get some more food. We'll go check out Cora and Leesky. Make sure they're behaving still. You chickens, I swear. Chickens are nosy. They do get full and they'll quit eating, but if they come over here, they think they gotta be here. Uh-oh, food. Oh, we're gonna have to get that filled up really quick. It's still winter time. That's the last thing you want to run out of is grain for your livestock. Well, you know, guys. All right, set this here. Go feed the dogs first. What'd you do, Leesky? You go in the barn? Hey, Cora girl. What you know, huh? The big girl? Or Mr. Leesky? Mr. Leesky! Where's Mr. Leesky? Leesky! Huh? Where's Mr. Leesky? Come on, Lease! Where did he go? Alright, hold on. Yeah, see where Leesky is. I just seen him all ago. He was napping. I can't set the food down or Skeeter will try to eat it all. Let's see what he's doing. Not even it. 
What are you doing? Are you gonna come eat? Come on. Come eat. Come on, Lise. I don't know what he's doing. He was on the other side. I guess he heard me over there. What are you doing, Cora girl? Here's a pretty girl. Pulling their water up, still got the water heater on. Hey, there he is. There's Mr. Leesky. Alright, let's go feed these goats. Oh, we got a thief. Get out of there, guys. Let's take a look. Come over out here. See that one there? Kind of tiny. So it would be wonderful to have a feed bunk over in the other pan like this, except I don't have a way to do it because we don't have a barn set up quite like this one. This one, we specifically, pretty much specifically built this barn with these goats in mind and this feed bunk. We got stalls in here, you know, if we get a sick goat, if we have um, a mama goat with kids that are having problems for some reason, we can lock them up in here. There's just all kinds of things. I just found something I've been missing. I've been looking for this. This went to the old door that was on here for some reason. I was thinking the dog stole it, but it didn't because this door slides. If you guys remember the video where me and Rachel built this door right here. Lasky, come on. What are you? He's gone again. Of course, he's gonna get all the food. Come on, Lace! I don't know why he's doing I threw some old eggs over in the pasture a while ago. That's probably what he's doing. <sighs> Look at this. Here's a piece of trash. And the hay, that is not good. Okay, I'll throw that in the trash can. So, these goats are eating this hay up pretty good. Got some fresh hay in there. Their other hay bale is pretty much gone. They've been using it for bedding, but they still got this one, which is nice and full. That'll last probably another couple of weeks. They've got mineral, which is super important. And then one thing you gotta do, for some reason, the goats love backing up to this right here and uh, go into the bathroom and, and this is mineral so they don't need to be doing that. Get all that out of there. Now I gotta remember not to touch my face with my hand that I just got the goat poo out of the mineral feeder with. And there's these two little goats that never like to eat grain. Yeah, at least he's up there eating those eggs I threw out. I had some old eggs in the shop. Leesky! Come on! You got food buddy, come on! He said, no, I'd rather eat these eggs. Uh, never know about dogs. So anyways, um, stay tuned. In about a month and a half, we'll be having babies. These goats should all be bred. So we'll be having some babies quicker than you know it. If I can get out of here without getting horned in the knee. All right. Uh, don't let me forget to turn this water off. We're gonna fill the stock tank up, the heated stock tank. And now the goats are trying to eat Leesky's food because he's not here. Get out of here. Y'all get. Okay, now we gotta guard Leesky's food because these goats are done eating the grain and you guys know they think they're dogs and wanna come eat dog food. Cora does a good job protecting hers. Pretty good, let's see what happens. He don't hurry up. Okay, he's still over there too. Lasky, come on. Get over here, come on. 
Yeah, I see you. Come on. Hurry up. Come eat your food. <laughs> Skeeter's even trying to keep the chickens out, away from it. But he can't keep the goats away from it. Come on. Doop -doo 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 -doo. Take your time. I can only stay here for so long. Skeeter bug, that goat will get you, buddy. Here, come on. Come on. There you go. There's your food. Alright, let's turn this water off. Here I go in. Huh? Alright, y'all keep those goats off your food. So there you guys go. Um, like I said at the beginning of the video, I am sorry I forgot to update you guys about the fire. I know a lot of you worry, just like we do. You guys take, um, you guys love our animals as much as we do, and you take it to heart anytime there's a potential problem or anything like that. So I do sincerely apologize. The last video where I think Rachel and the kids was out with me, I just forgot to update you guys, and uh, I felt bad about that. So that was the first thing I wanted to do on this video just to make sure you guys knew that we did not have any losses or any potential fire danger everything's good so anyways guys thank you so much for watching remember please go check out the website subscribe to the newsletter and uh look forward to see what's coming out and hopefully uh everybody has good weather stay blessed stay warm subscribe leave a comment and we'll see you next time